We all take photos in public these days, but did you know that in America, it is covered under the First Amendment? Whether you're a professional photographer or not, you are allowed to take pictures in public of anything and everything that's going on, any person that's out there, anything you can see from a public space. It is considered a part of your freedom of speech, freedom of expression and disseminating information about things that are happening in our society. Disclaimer, I am not an attorney. I am a documentary photographer, so it is a part of my business to know these laws because I have to operate within them while I'm out. Who are you allowed to photograph? And the answer is, if you are in public, you are allowed to take absolutely anyone's photo for any or no reason at all. Now, there are some caveats to that. You're not allowed to follow someone around and get in their face and otherwise harass people but you are allowed to take a picture and then move on. You have a little bit more of a license if the person is a public figure or a celebrity. For example, if you see a politician walking around in a park, shaking hands and greeting people and having conversations, you can follow them and document what they're doing because that's part of the public record. If an anonymous person is doing something like uh, committing a crime or verbally attacking someone, you are allowed to spend more time documenting that because what they're doing is considered newsworthy. Private property. If you are standing on public property and you can see private property, you can take a picture of it. Now, you can't take a big old zoom lens and zoom way into somebody's house or something, but the key phrase here is reasonable expectation of privacy. If you're standing in your front yard in view of a public street, you don't have any reasonable expectation of privacy. There are also laws covering when you're on private property that is open to the public, say like a shopping mall you are allowed to take photos in these situations unless somewhere it's explicitly stated otherwise. Or if someone who is representative of the property comes and asks you to stop, then you must stop. But they can not take your photos away. They can't demand you to delete their photos. They can't even demand to look at your photos. You just need to comply with their request to leave because otherwise you could be charged with trespassing. Photographing the police. You are always allowed to photograph the police while in public. If you're in public, you can always document their activities. You do need to maintain a distance because if you're too close, they can say that you're interfering with their investigation. Now, you cannot follow them onto private property, but while they're in public, you can photograph what they're doing. Also, they are not allowed to confiscate your photos, ask you to delete your photos, or even ask to view your photos unless they get a warrant. So if you think you might be photographing police, it's important to know these rights and if they engage with you, to let them know that you know these rights.